Now to the rebound Milwaukee and getting back to work. Today, the Milwaukee Ballet is becoming the first major local arts group to bring larger audiences inside performance spaces for live shows. That's since the pandemic shut down. In fact, the ballet is leading the world in its return to the stage. This is happening tonight at the Baumgartner Center for Dance. Our Ryan Jenkins is live there this morning with a look ahead. Ryan. Hey, good morning. I can't help but smile under this mask. This is where it's all going to happen. The dancers will be right here. This big screen behind me kind of taking this uh, place of sets and allowing this performance to come to life. And then just a couple of feet away, you turn around this way. This is where about 50 people will sit and enjoy a live performance by the Milwaukee Ballet. I'm told that the dancers are so excited to feel the energy of a live audience again and to hear that applause. The show begins at 730 tonight. Now the goal is to eventually return to the Marcus Center, but this is still a really big deal right now. They're truly leading the world and bringing ballet back to in-person shows. Things, of course, are going to look a bit different. Everyone's going to have to wear masks, and that includes the crowd watching as well as the dancers who have had to figure out how to perform with surgical masks on. The show going to look different, but we're told it's worth it. Here's some other changes that are happening. Return will be a slow and methodical one, and we know that we have to take baby steps. So, for example, we are now producing performances that are probably just one hour in length. There will be no intermission, so our audiences won't have to leave the space. So the reimagined re season, to the point it's called, will run tonight through March 7th. Limited tickets on sale now. This is all a big step forward for the performing arts community. Reporting live here, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. Ryan, thank you. And it uh, looks like they're all set to go there. So at four minutes after six on TMJ4 News today, I was certainly grateful for the opportunity to sit in on that dress rehearsal. So to watch my one-on-one -on -one interview with artistic director Michael Pink. And for more details about upcoming performances and pricing, you can head to tmj4.com rebound.